Uh, I've recently been appointed as our new women's spokesperson um, for the party, which is something I'm delighted about. Um, feminism was one of the main strands of my own personal political ideology, so I'm looking forward to really getting my teeth into the issues. Um, there's a few really important things that I want to address. Uh, one of the first things is how embedded sexism is um, in our society at large, and, um, and it's entrenched in a way that the media portrays women um, in accordance with popular culture. The need for more women in politics is it's absolutely apparent. Um, for, for centuries, really, politics has had this negative image in the public, um, mainly due to corruption, but when you look back, the corruption has all been male-dominated, and I think we need a new narrative. We need to have more women in politics, particularly in the Assembly here. There's 21 female MLAs out of 100 and 8. Um, we have 10 out of our 29, and while that is excellent, it's still not 50-50, so I don't think that Sinn Féin should be too smug either. I think that um, we need to look at ourselves and take the issue more seriously. In the South, for example, we have two female TDs out of 14, which doesn't really make the cut. Um, and still in the background, there's far too many meetings that happen with no women in the room at all. Um, I think it is important that we make women in leadership positions to be seen as a social norm, because for too long, there has been the age-old image of leadership as a white middle-aged man. Um, and that has the massive potential to stifle the aspirations of future generations of women and present generations of women as well. Um, we have a lot to offer and young women want to make their voices heard and I think we need to make room for them. Uh, also, we have f for years and years failed to involve women in shaping our economy, which has huge um, implications. Uh, failing, to, failing to involve and failing to recognise the potential and the talents of one major section of society doesn't make any common sense, let alone economic sense, so that's something that we have to address. Uh, this is the decade of centenaries and I think one of the, the larger um, anniversaries that has been overlooked is that of the suffragette, suffragettes movement. It's been a hundred years since women have been granted the right to vote and yes we have come a long way since then but we have an even longer way to go. Um, I think it's time that we made gender equality a, a reality and a real priority because equal societies have been proven time and time again to work and perform better for everyone. And that's why Sinn Féin are working to build a real Ireland vehicles.